the Philippe Symposium. Uh, I ask Dr. Sakai, thank you Dr. Sakai for coming to, to Paris. And uh, you know that uh, the, the, how important is the, the, the picture for us to understand where we are and to, to analyze, the, the, to develop the strategy of the, the treatment. And uh, we have asked Dr. Sakai to speak about challenge for advanced neurointerventions with cutting edge imaging technology experience of uh, Philips NeuroSuite with the Allura Clarity. Dr. Sakai, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. So I'd like to present, uh, uh, just I uh, installed the new, newest uh, Philips system. And uh, so this, uh, Nice system I want to uh, talk. This uh, Philips NeuroSuit uh, is uh, consisted of a uh, large and uh, middle size uh, flat panel detector, uh, so called uh, Allura Clarity 2015. So, AP20 panel uh, is a uh, 2D and 3D imaging to provide uh, live na navigation and uh, immediate uh, therapy uh, feedback. And uh, previously, we, uh, uh, you have been used at 20 by 20, uh, but the new uh, system, uh, a lot of, of 15 panel. So this uh, 15 panel can be positioned beyond the shoulders and uh, very close to the head. So this uh, shorter distance and the unique combination of our detectors provides sharp and full brain imaging at the lower X-ray dose. And uh, uh, this uh, Allura Clarity have uh, also imaging process chain for noise reduction. And uh, so the features, three features, the real-time automatic uh, pixel shift and uh, temporal averaging in the consecutive images and the special noise reductions. So Kalinska team already published in that 2013. So they reported uh, seven, uh, one report, uh, uh, the 75% radiation dose reduced. And the second report, uh, including uh, interventional procedures, so they said uh, 60% radiation dose reduction. So just uh, we, did, uh, we, we have been used now uh, 2020 and 2015 for uh, your intervention. So just two rooms we, uh, we use. About 1,000 diagnostic angel and 400 intervention uh, annually. So since uh, we introduced this uh, two newest machine last September, so uh, about 30% still we use a uh, previous X per like model. And uh, month by month, so we uh, increase the clarity uh, new mode. So clarity mode is uh, about a 50% radiation dose reduction. So uh, just before uh, we in introduced this new clarity system, uh, recent uh, five, uh, six months, uh, compared with uh, new uh, uh, systems, nine months, so about uh, 360 diagnosis and uh, 70 to 90 uh, intervention. We, compare the radiation dose between two systems. So uh, this is a dose, at, uh, uh, dose area uh, products. 75% uh, of, of uh, procedures lines. So for diagnosis angel, so about half uh, of uh, radiation dose achieved. And uh, for intervention, uh, about 40% uh, reduction uh, we, we achieved. So these two uh, period, so uh, fluoroscopic time is uh, not significant difference, and the number of acquisition time is different, uh, not so different. However, so DAP and the air camera are, 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 are both significantly uh, reduced uh, against uh, previous uh, era. And uh, the, the new uh, small uh, detectors have uh, less uh, uh, special uh, resolution. However, you can see 
So right pictures uh, is a new uh, medium-sized panel, but uh, looks like uh, sharp than the previous uh, uh, systems. But uh, you can uh, see uh, the new system cannot uh, cover from uh, cervical internal carotid origin to the head, uh, top of head. And if, uh, if we are just the uh, aortic uh, branches, but uh, we cannot uh, see uh, to the uh, internal carotid origin, uh, sometimes this is uh, disadvantages. However, most of the time, so it's uh, not uh, so dis disadvantage for clinical use. But uh, this uh, medium-sized lateral panel uh, uh, can uh, widen the more uh, caudal uh, angle and uh, less uh, conflict uh, with uh, AP large panel. So this is very helpful for the, some uh, patient. Uh, this is a uh, uh, ruptured uh, distal PCA aneurysm. However, this is a very, very uh, difficult to set angle. Uh, 40 degrees uh, right oblique and uh, cranial uh, 38 degrees. So uh, these uh, angles uh, may conflict the uh, biplane systems. But uh, this uh, new system can, uh, can set, uh, and uh, so uh, we can successfully treat with the, uh, this uh, distal an uh, rupture dynamism with gluing. And also, uh, the new clarity systems uh, can see the fine vessel and the parenchymal images and the venous phase. You can see uh, the, uh, these uh, uh, fine vessels and the parenchymal image is much better than expert CT. And uh, these venous uh, images is uh, much more uh, than expert systems. And uh, this uh, the cavernous and the venous combined angioma is very clear in the clarity systems. Uh, this is the ABM treatment uh, with a, a middle size of 15 panels. And uh, you can see very clear the uh, uh, peripheral vessels. And uh, so this is a uh, uh, direct uh, uh, non-subtraction images. You can see very, very clear. So this is a uh, uh, new uh, clarity system. It's very helpful for the distal regions. And also, so uh, uh, nice uh, buzzer CT or uh, systems uh, uh, also very useful for the neural intervention. So you can see this is the enterprise uh, system uh, stand. So our uh, young doctors uh, carefully uh, evaluate the fit uh, contrast concentration is suitable for, to, be, uh, to see the under uh, expert. So this is the neural home easy. So 30% uh, of concent, uh, uh, concentrate is uh, most uh, visible. This is wing span. This is a coronary balloon expander front uh, driver stand. This is a carotid uh, precise stand. This is the balloon expander peripheral stent palmats. This is the carotid wall stent. So each stent have a uh, uh, suitable concentration. This is a 30% contrast concentration. So you can see uh, some stent is visible, but some stent is unclear. This is 10% concentration rate. And uh, each stent have uh, each uh, suitable uh, concentration. So we decided and uh, which stent we use, uh, uh, we carefully um, change the concentration rate. This is a pipeline. Uh, these uh, uh, flow diverters have a very fine, fine mesh, so very, very diff different from a su suitable concentration. This is a surpass. And, uh, High resolution 3D uh, array, and uh, this is buzzer CT. So you can see the buzzer CT is more, more and more uh, visible. Uh, buzzer CT needs uh, uh, 20 seconds, but the uh, number of images is much, much more. 
And uh, Philips uh, newest system have also metal artifact reduction. So even this abacity, uh, some um, if the uh, flow diverter is coiling, so you, you can see the metal artifact. But uh, this uh, metal artifact reduction program, uh, you can see the uh, surplus strut. This is a very unique uh, case. 51-year male, uh, she ha he have a subhemorrhoid grade four. Uh, right vertebra is hypoplastic, so we have to keep left vertebra. So we decided to treat enterprise uh, stent-assisted uh, coiling uh, in acute case. Uh, successfully treat. However, so uh, follow-up angel shows the recanalization of the dissected, uh, dissected uh, area. So we add coil uh, without uh, adding a stent. So uh, still uh, enterprise, uh, only one uh, enterprise deployed. And the patient recovered. So we uh, carefully uh, follow up with uh, angel. But about one year later, so a big uh, uh, recurrence occurs. So uh, we decided to put a uh, surpass uh, one year later. So which uh, uh, imaging modality is best? So you can see. So uh, basal CT with a metal artifact reduction is the best tool to, to show uh, the enterprise uh, and the surpass and the coils, you can see. So this is uh, just after surplus deployment. And uh, nine days later, so uh, uh, recurrent area already gone. So you can see uh, just after surplus uh, deploy and uh, nine, day, nine, day, nine days later, so this aneurysm already gone. So in conclusion, so these uh, uh, new quality uh, systems have a real-time image processing chain with a noise reduction algorithm. So uh, you, uh, uh, about half of those are the radiation dose, but uh, uh, acceptable uh, image quality we have. And also, Philips' new uh, system have a good uh, 3D rotation angle and with uh, uh, workstation uh, imaging system. So Philips NeuroSuite with uh, Alula Clarity is one of the best systems for neural intervention. Thank you very much.